All right, here's a quick video about a B Light aircraft, excuse me, B Light Electronics universal LED fuel gauge. Uh, the model is UFGA022. And like I said, it's a universal gauge that's programmable for different sender values. And this particular version is for dual tanks. I wanted to post this video in case anyone else was having issues where they have a vehicle that has separate lobes for the fuel tank, usually divided because of the drive shaft, uh, with separate senders. On my particular car, a 2000 BMW 528i that I've done an LS swap on, I was having some fuel gauge issues where when you were cornering aggressively with less than a third of a tank of fuel, the gauge would go to zero. I've since found out why that is, and, and the gauge, this B light gauge, is unnecessary, but I thought it was cool enough and may solve other folks' problems, so I wanted to post about it. So here you can see the gauge is powering up, and this little sequence it goes through when it first powers up. And then it shows with LED the current fuel range, or excuse me fuel level for each tank for each lobe of the tank so here I am moving the sender for the left side and you can see the LEDs going green until it's maxed out and that's on the left sender and then as I move it down you'll see that level start to drop until it gets into a red LED show, warning you that you have very little fuel. Uh, the driver's side sender works the exact same way. Like so. So I thought that was pretty slick gauge. Um, what I did learn on the BMW, for anybody else that may be having this particular problem where all of a sudden their gauge pegs to zero, and they've modified the car with a high volume fuel pump or what have you. The passenger lobe, its fuel sender, actually has a reserve setting that is supposed to turn on the light when the fuel gets below a certain point. And you can see right there on the resistor that there is a bare area. That bare area has no resistance whatsoever, and that's what pegs out the gauge uh, and turns on the reserve light. Now, because I have a 340 LPH fuel pump on my LS, it actually evacuates the driver's side of the tank faster uh, than it does the passenger side where the pump resides, which is not a bad thing. Uh, it just does cause an issue as far as how the gauge displays uh, when the fuel tank starts to get low. So what I did is I actually installed a little metal clip right where that float arm hits that piece of plastic. You can see that little plastic nub that sticks out. I basically shimmed that to prevent the float from dropping to the point where it would allow the uh, reserve setting to come on. I wanted the gauge to be able to display fuel all the time. So if the passenger side was, you know, 50% full and the driver's side's only 10% full, the gauge will average that and still show a correct fuel level. So in any event, this is a universal fuel gauge meant for experimental aircraft. It's made by B-Light Electronics. It's programmable, and I thought it would be a pretty slick uh, solution for anyone that has dual tanks or a tank with dual senders.